Amy from Doodle Doll Designs. I've been trying to grow lavender in my flower garden for several years now and I moved it to a different location this year and the lavender really took off and I got a pretty good crop. This is some of the lavender that I picked and I dried and now I want to make a lavender sachet with this. To get the flower buds off of the lavender stems for using in my sachet I'm just going to break them off once the flowers are dried they break off very easily if you don't have access to some whole stems you can find the flower buds online they're fairly easy to find and purchase this vintage linen it was a flower sack tea towel and it was very threadbare had a lot of holes in it so I cut off most of the really bad spots it's still got some bad spots in a few places and I cut it down to an 8 by 9 inch rectangle and I'm going to use this for the lavender sachet to make the bag I'm going to take it and I'm going to take the right sides together and fold it in half and then I'm going to sew along this edge. I press the seam open and now I'm going to center the seam along the back and then I'm going to sew up along the bottom edge of this fabric tube that I've made. I'm going to trim the corners off a little bit and then turn it right side out and then I'm going to press it this will be the inside and the bag will be folded over like this and so I'm going to cut a diagonal across this way about like that the angle of your diagonal would vary based on the design on your linen I did leave enough room for a hem here I'm going to press it under about a quarter of an inch all the way around so I'm using rice in with my lavender buds for the filling and I've done a half a cup of rice and a fourth of a cup of the flower buds and then I'm going to fill my bag and at this point the bag is about half full which is perfect I'm going to pin the top together with the edges folded in and then I'm going to sew along here with the sewing machine. Now I'm going to add a piece of lace to this edge right along here. And I am going to fold it over on both ends so that the edges won't be seen probably would have been easier to do this before I sewed things up but I decided it needs a little bit need some beads here I'm going to put beads in the center of each of the flowers I've got these yellow beads that are just the right size for it So I feel like it needs a little bit more color here. I'm going to add this purple fabric. And this pink. So I'm going to take this pink fabric and just flip it over 
and then sew along here sew the two pieces together so after I sewed along that edge I just flipped that up and I pressed it then I'm going to trim the edges I'm going to trim this off. Don't need that added bulk. It was not quite even on this one side. It was angled, so I squared that up. So I want to add this yellow ribbon and this lace to the seam right there between the two fabrics. going to pull these off and pin this together and then I will machine stitch along the lace to hold it down. Okay, now I'm going to fold the top and two sides under with a quarter inch hem and press it. did have to trim the edge of this off a little bit it was too long and I'm going to use a needle and thread to stitch this piece of fabric to the sachet and this might have been easier to do before stitching up the bag and stuffing it probably would have been but I didn't know for sure what I was going to want to add to it And I enjoy the hand stitching. Doing a blind stitch. I have that all sewn on now. My next step is to tack this down across here. Then I'm going to add this button right in here. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.